today we are going to be reacting to the brand new Laser Dash Legendary map in Stumble, guys. So, it's going to be a little bit of a different style video today because we're reacting to MTM Samu's video. His link will be down below. Definitely go check out the original video. But people were invited to the Barcelona office for Scopely. Unfortunately, I'm in the US, obviously, so they probably didn't want to pay for my flight out there. But um, we're going to be reacting to his gameplay and see what the new map looks like. And immediately, you can tell there's a vertical lasers, which is completely different to normal laser dash and adds a whole different element to it. And then you obviously still have the blocks. I'm interested to see. So it does come across uh, diagonally as well and horizontal. Um, it does appear like he's lagging. Also, his quality only goes up to 480p. Oh, wait, this is cool. Look at this formation. I don't know if you can dive through the sides here, uh, but I'd be interested to see that. Okay. Uh, very quick round there. They're all using NPCs, kids. My goodness. Okay, second round. What do they got? Oh, a new formation. So instead of like the bumpers, it's immediately lasers. And you know what? I think this will actually go by pretty quickly. The problem with Block Dash these days is the map just lasts way too long. But Laser Dash has a good balance, and I imagine this will as well. There's green lasers too. So it appears like the green laser moves really slow. So I'm guessing red is just fast, and then green... Wait, are these three different colors? Is it red, like almost white, and then green? Also, the side lasers are different colors too. Wait, it comes off the sidewall. Do you guys see that? Look at that. So I'm guessing this one will pop out as well. And then this is blue. Does blue mean stationary? Or will that move as well? Oh, wow. Wait, this is our first time in a while getting a different block dash version. This is kind of sick. If you ask me, I love this so far. I'm kind of disappointed in how many people are left. <laughs> I'm guessing they had to play on mobile. But uh, maybe that's why. Anywho. Um, continuing on. Doesn't appear much... Of any oh never mind I take that back I don't know why anyone would ever cross through those I guess just in case like someone's trying to emote you you have no other option that would make sense um I'm interested to see like the late game on this map what's the time limit okay the left side is popping out as well I'm guessing that top row doesn't pop out but uh, I mean I have no idea what I'm talking about this is our first time reacting to it Sorry if it feels like I'm yapping. Oh, come on. But now they got a second game, so let's see if it's any different than the first one. Um, immediately, kind of different formation from the start. So it appears it's randomized. How did that person just get out? Four people already? Wow. Okay. The sidewall pops out very quickly. Hmm. I really don't have any negative feedback about it. I will say it feels less like Block Dash and more like laser tracer i don't know if that makes sense because they're just they didn't add anything to do with blocks really they just added a whole bunch of lasers which you could probably just consider this like laser tracer 2.0 which i'm surprised they haven't made laser tracer 2.0 so this is really cool okay let's uh, continue skip ahead skip ahead Again, his link will be down below to the original video if you want to check it out. All credit goes to him. Wait, did he just slide under that? Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. He did. So you can dive underneath it? It appears that way. And Nuno just jumped on top of the dice. You see that? Wait, I didn't know you could do that. That's actually kind of neat. You probably use it in block dash, throw it at a block, then jump on the dice. I mean, there's, um, what, volleyball, so there's probably no need to do that, but... Oh, I guess they're, like, going at it full force now. Instead of, like, playing it safe. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Um. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, it's obviously gonna be fun, but I don't know if it's gonna be as played as Block Dash, obviously. But I love maps where you can just get people out quickly. So this is my type of level for sure. I will say they've knocked it out of the park with these past two maps. Oh, the D&D &D one and the 
uh, laser dash. His reaction was so delayed. <laughs> really quickly, we're gonna watch all their games once more to see if we can catch something we didn't see the first time through. But we're watching it in 1.5 speed um, to make it go faster. Just so you guys don't have to bear through it all again. Let me know if you catch anything that I don't. I'm guessing color relates to how fast it moves. And I'm not seeing anyone play any play very aggressive. So I, I'm interested to see if, like we saw, you can go into like those crevices that maybe it looks like the characters can't fit underneath. So you, you could obviously go underneath there. This is just normal block dash. Um, I think the furthest they got was when it got to those like three cube patterns. And then you could just go to the side of it. Let me know down in the comments, do you guys like this new map or do you prefer old block dash? I mean, obviously you can still clutch and whatever, but I feel like it's not too crazy. I don't know. Obviously I I've been saying I like it. I will definitely be putting this in the rotation. I'm actually a little disappointed that laser dash doesn't get played more. People just want legendary block dash all the time. And I've been saying this, but they need to add an option to turn off taunt because it would fix a lot of the uh, reoccurring issues, I would say, with like stale gameplay. Okay, wait, these are definitely different colors. I have no idea what it means though. I'm guessing um, at an angle, this color is what it means. Who knows? And then the shapes are like the dark red. Hmm, okay. And then we got that final game once more. But if we can come to any conclusion, it's that the top bar stays still the entire time. You have verticals, you have the bottom that comes out from both sides. It's almost like that game show, I think it's called like hole in the wall, where you have to like match up the uh, shape to your body. Um, obviously it's not that strict, but it kind of resembles that where it's just like moving towards you. Um, if anyone from Scopely happens to be watching this video, I had an idea for a map a long time ago when they added Endless Block Dash. Um, and it was to make it like super intense right off the bat. Because there's so many players that are just so good at Block Dash, they should have just made an extreme version. So imagine like when you hit like wave 400 on Endless Block Dash. I don't know if you guys have seen the gameplay, but it's like 1.5x, 2x. It almost looks like this. Um, they should make a version that just starts out that hype. But overall, I think the new map looks really, really good. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Again, thank you to Samu for letting me watch his video. His link will be down below. Um, and use code BABYYODA. And next time, invite me to Barcelona, please.